Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. I am so tired right now. Like, I... <laughs> it's just like, you know when you're tired but then you've gone beyond tired. Like, that is me right now. And I have an exam today. I have a two and a half hour exam. Help me. <laughs> um, it's my last exam though, so I thought I'd vlog. Um, because I vlogged last year when it was the last day of my exams. And it was a lovely sunny day. And it was so lovely. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, let's go. in a cafe um, for exams we always go to my favourite cafe and do a bit of revision um, and just chat and that sort of stuff so that's where we are um, I've obviously got an oat milk cappuccino which I'm so excited about um, <laughs> literally I get so excited every single day um, and yeah and then got my exam and then we're gonna go out for smoothies maybe which I'm very excited about for like a little celebration um because it's been a lot like these exams have been a lot um especially because like some of them are two and a half hours and it's just literally like a marathon like you know what i mean like still like last year i did 21 or like 22 from gcse's this year i've only got six i've got six next year but still a lot so yeah um nearly done just one more now okay guys so i am now home and I've had food and everything like that and it is exam time. It is exam time. I am so scared. It's gonna be fine though, it's gonna be fine. Um, <laughs> I have had caffeine and I'm feeling a bit more revived. I'm not promoting caffeine. That's just me, okay? Not promoting caffeine. And yeah, let's do this. I'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. <sighs> yeah? Hopefully. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. <laughs> what is that on my face? Can we ignore that, please? Um, dry skin, I think. Yeah, I'm done. Done. She's an AS queen. Survival queen, yeah. So we've got our spoofies. And um, I got the beetroot. What did I get? <laughs> Detoxing. Blueberry. Yeah, that's Carrot. It. There's no beetroot in it. I don't know why I said that. No. Blueberry, ginger, carrot, courgette, and banana. Mum, you try yours. Um, it's broccoli and the bees. Broccoli, spinach, mango, banana, pineapple, and cucumber. <laughs> How's that for you? Yeah. I can taste the cucumber. I've discovered something. I think in a smoothie, I like ginger. Mine's got, got ginger. ginger. I think that's what makes. Oh, that's um, frame praise. Okay. Yeah, very pretty. <laughs> no, I think the one you had yesterday was better. I think I like ginger and smoothies. Hey everyone, so as you have seen, my exam's finished, which I am so happy about. Like, honestly, I just... That was my last one, obviously, which I probably said a million times before, but <laughs> doesn't feel real. I just walked to get my mum a little present because honestly I was flagging these like this past weekend like I was so tired and bless my mum she is the sweetest person on the entire earth um and she literally got me through I would not have been able to do that exam because I was so tired um so yeah got her some minis for like travel and stuff um which from a really nice company called Faith in Nature um so I thought like that's really thoughtful so I was like yeah and I think she'll really like that. And then I got a little card, um, which is actually really special because this is the card my mum got me for my birthday, I think, like ages ago because I loved it. So I was like, I'll get it for her um, because it's kind of sweet that like she got it for me and now I'm getting it for her a couple years later. So yeah, just walking back, I need to quickly wrap it up and then give it to my mum. I'm just going to be going on the air track and then chilling, having a little party with my family. Um, party, I mean me and my parents celebrating. <laughs> Bye. I don't know. <laughs> but 
<laughs> watching TV. Um, but yes. Okay guys, I am now home. Ignore the kettle boiling. As you guys know, I am always on tea duty, which I don't mind. I like making tea for my family. So yeah, that's why the kettle is boiling. But I thought I would do a little debrief on the exam, exam season. Um, and any kind of advice really, I guess, as someone who's just gone through it, did GCSEs last year, what helps me. Sorry, the kettle is so annoying, I'm so sorry. Um, first up, I think I might have a podcast episode on this. My podcast is at Rachel's Radio on Spotify, Apple and Amazon. Um, and if I don't have one on exams, then I definitely have one on like summer and stuff like that. Um, so make sure to check that out and you never know by the time this is out I'll probably have one up but yes um, my top tips I would say just do your best like honestly exams are just one segment of a massive puzzle of your life and they're literally just a stepping stone and you know what it's not the end of the world if you fail an exam it's not the end of the world if it doesn't go your way it's not the end of the world if you gave 100% on that day and 100% didn't get you the grade that perhaps you you know everyone wanted for you then that is okay like life still goes on you know what i mean like life still goes on um and there's so much more to life than exams and stressing and i just see so many people burn out over exams and it is not worth it like trust me it is not worth it um so i think take the pressure off and just go in it and just do your best and i know that's like a really cliche thing to say but like it is true like just do your best because your best is always good enough and i know that is literally so cliche but it's true um also remember to just look after yourself that is your top priority like what helps for me is keeping my same routine um you know still get my coffees still go on walks still do a bit of revision and then once i've had enough i've had enough i take myself out of the situation go upstairs and chill or like do something else or do a different form of revision like watching a video or some passive i think they call it passive revision instead of like active revision just do what works for you go to different places go sit in your favorite coffee shop you know what i mean just make it sorry my hand was over the microphone it might be better now um like just get through it is my advice and yeah honestly you have your whole life ahead of you so yeah that is my biggest piece of advice um in terms of revising what helps me is always wear my big ear fenders because i'm so sensitive to noise so that is a must um and use highlighters highlighters are amazing um yeah i just love highlighters so much <laughs> and color coding and again like i'm dyslexic i work in ways that work for my dyslexia and help me make your life as easy as possible like for me i have this a3 big book i always use that like always massive a3 sheets color coded boom you know what i mean work smart not hard um, and I do actually have a YouTube video on all my top tips on how I revised for my GCSEs as someone who had to teach themselves. That was not a fun experience. <laughs> but yes, that is all for today. I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Um, this is your sign to go get something that you love, whether it's a tea, coffee, snack, meal. Even if it's not a snack, just get yourself something to eat um, or drink or whatever. And yeah. I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. And also quickly, if you're not in exam season and you're taking some time out of education, that is absolutely fine. You have to do what's best for you at this moment in time. That is so important. So yeah, sending so much love and I'll see you guys soon.